Fans have waited and waited and waited for a long time to see Cole Caulfield back in an NHL game. Well, guess what, folks? He's back. That's right, friends. It's been a long time since we've seen Cole Caulfield dress and get on the ice for an actual NHL game. Yes, it's preseason, but it is an NHL game. And finally, on Wednesday night, we were all treated to Cole Caulfield returning to the bench. The Habs were coming off a loss on Monday night, of course, uh, losing 4-2 to to the New Jersey Devils. Caulfield did not play in that first preseason game. But prior to Wednesday night's game against the Ottawa Senators, Caulfield told Kelsey Lalonde from TSN during warm-ups, we just want to go out there and get a win tonight because it's been a few years since the Canadians have actually won an exhibition game in the preseason. Well, there's nothing quite like Cole Caulfield's wish in his first game back since his injury coming true. And the Canadians beat the Ottawa Senators 4-3. to three. And yes, Cole Caulfield helped them do that. So today, let's talk about how Caulfield looked, how he did, and some other highlights from this game. And if you stick around for a bit in this video, I'm actually going to talk about a player who I think has been a bit of a pleasant surprise so far this season. First off, we know it's preseason. Marty St. Louis, Kent Hughes, Jeff Gordon, they're going to play a little bit of musical chairs with the lineup. They're going to kind of experiment with, let's see how this guy looks on this line. Let's Let's see how this defense pairing looks together. However, the top line last night, not a bad look. Caulfield... Suzuki, Monaghan. Now that we could actually see once the regular season starts. I will be the first to to admit and remind our viewers that I would like to see Monaghan and Doc together on the second line. The two of them had very good chemistry together last year, and I think that's something they could build off of. But while we know that Caulfield Suzuki will be together on the top line, it's a big question mark as to who's going to be the right winger who rounds out that top line. And Monaghan on that line, the three of them did not look bad together, let me tell you. Uh, Monaghan even admitted before the game, because remember, it's been a long time since he's played as well, because he's coming back from injury, uh, that he said, you know, it's it's even been a little while since he's had those kind of butterflies and nerves before a game. Um, And so he was obviously very excited to get back on the ice as well last night. And this was a very... Pretty solid performance by the top line. I have to say Caulfield looked pretty antsy because that kid was flying all over the ice and quite frankly fanned on a bunch of shots that he got set up on. I think I think he was just, uh, there was a lot of excitement. There was a lot of emotion for him. Um, and so you could kind of see him settle more into his regular groove and rhythm as the game went on. But the first period was a, was a little bit of, of, a, of a chaotic mess, as in, if we're being quite honest. But things settled down and uh, Cole Caulfield had a number of chances. Finally, at the end of the game, with the game winner, tucking a puck right under Jonas Corposalo's arm uh, to put the Habs ahead for three. I think that we are going to have a lot of fun. Fingers crossed that he stays healthy watching Cole Caulfield this season. So what else can we take away from this second preseason game? Well, let's talk about Caden Gooley. Caden Gooley, even uh, throughout the camp, but in particular again last night, looked so strong. This young man is going to grow into such a strong defenseman and such a, a solid piece back there on the blue line for the Montreal Canadiens. Really impressed with how he has carried himself. Really impressed with the maturity of his game, both on and off the ice. A young man with a lot of character, a lot of leadership qualities, and you can see that on the ice as well. Uh, A bit of a scary moment. You know, can't stand in the preseason when you see opposition come in, tough guys come in that just trying to make a name for themselves. Did not like at all uh, the hit that Gooley took against the boards. Thankfully, it was a bit of a scary moment. Like, oh no, let's not start. Let's not start the injuries and let's not go down the path of preseason injuries. But thankfully, Gooley seemed to be okay. 
Uh, phew, I think we all breathed a big sigh of relief when that happened. Um, but speaking of injuries, the whole reason that Caden Gooley was in the game was in place of Mike Matheson. Caden Gooley wasn't supposed to play on Wednesday night. It was supposed to be Mike Matheson on the top line uh, with David Savard, but he didn't come out for warmups. Caden Gooley did instead. Uh, Marty St. Louis mentioning after the game, they kept him out for precautionary reasons that he's experiencing just a bit of lower body soreness, not related to his injury from last year. I think that was the big thing. Matheson suddenly not showing up for a, a preseason game, I think, ever had everyone a little tense, but not related to his previous injury. And Marty St. Louis even went so far as to say if this had been a regular season game, Mike Matheson would have played, but because it was just an exhibition game, they decided to just be a little more cautious. We like to see that. Remember, there's been a big turnover with the medical staff. Uh, they let, they wanted to be a little more cautious since they had the, as they said, luxury of doing so. And so Caden Gooley went in and Caden Gooley looked pretty good in his place. Okay, remember how at the top of the show, I mentioned that there was a player I wanted to talk about who's been a bit of a pleasant surprise so far this preseason. Can we talk about Jared Davidson for a minute? Now, he was stuck on the fourth line last night, but that did not prevent him from once again being noticeable on the ice for all the right reasons. In fact, it was his play, his zone entry, his skating, and his shot that set up Brennan Zignac to tap in the rebound on Corpusalo to get things started on Wednesday night. Jared Davidson has very quietly come in with a very strong camp so far. Um, you know, he's not a stranger to camp for the Canadians. And could this be the year that he really starts to make people sit up and take notice? Well, I think he's done that so far already. He had another strong performance on Wednesday night. And I'm excited to see what this could potentially grow into with this young player. Now, we know all eyes are on your Slavkovsky this season. Uh, it's his sophomore season. We're hoping he stays healthy. Rookie season didn't start out as strongly as I think people would have liked. I am the first to say that I didn't agree with the decision to keep him in the NHL last year. I thought that they should have done what they are likely going to do with David Reinbacher and send him back to Europe, uh, or at least send him to Laval to get uh, some confidence and learn the North American game better and really strengthen those areas of his game that could use a bit of a boost. All that aside, all eyes have been on Slavkovsky to see how he has improved over the summer. And his, admittedly, his first game out didn't look tremendously great. It was okay. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't standout either. Wednesday night, that started to change a little bit, particularly when the weight came off of his shoulders when he was able to enter the zone he was left a bit open, got straight into the front of the net and had an easy little pot shot, flipped the puck right into the net and got his first goal of the preseason. Uh, he was full of smiles on the bench after that. And you could see huh, kind of like that sigh of relief. Uh, he just started, he, he looked lighter on his skates. He seemed more at ease on the ice. And that's what, that's the kind of confidence building opportunities that we want to see Slavkovsky not only get, but take advantage of and execute on. And if he can continue that kind of momentum, then maybe, just maybe, the sophomore slump won't be an issue for your eye Slavkovsky. In fact, if you happen to miss Habs Hockey Report last week, your eye Slavkovsky is just one of the six key things that I laid out as the things to watch in training camp and the preseason for the Montreal Canadiens last year. If you miss that, just click on the link right above uh, and be sure that you go check that out because if you're just starting to tune into the preseason, well, there are some areas that are really key to keep an eye on as the Canadians whittle their roster down to what it's going to look like on opening night. And hey, if you're enjoying my content here each and every week on the Rocket Sports Media YouTube channel right here on Habs Hockey Report, if you haven't done so already, please take a moment and just tap the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you never miss an episode when it comes out every Thursday. Also, like this video. We love likes. We love likes. We love your comments. And we also really appreciate it when you tap the share button and share this show on your favorite social media channels. Tanner Pearson is a name that we 
started to talk about last week, newly acquired from the Vancouver Canucks. What is his addition to the roster going to do in terms of prospects, in terms of the roster makeup? Well, We have some answers for you, at least a little bit, as to what we can maybe expect from Tanner Pearson at this point in his career and coming off uh, such an injury-riddled season last year. Last week on the Canadians Connection podcast, I was happy to jump into the studio with Rick Stevens, and we had an exclusive interview with Jeff Patterson. He is the Vancouver Canucks uh, site editor and reporter for the Hockey News' Vancouver team site. And Jeff Patterson joined us on the show to give us the rundown, the highs, the lows, and everything in between of his evaluation of where Tanner Pearson is at, his injury status, how he could fit into the Montreal Canadiens lineup. If you missed that interview, well, you got to go check it out. And you can do that right here by clicking on this video and then meet you back here again next week on Habs Hockey Report.